a roller. A roller. A roller. Then, uh, yeah. do, you to, do you want me to introduce you? Yeah, you introduce me. <laughs> this is the OBC podcast, uh, minus zero. Minus zero? No. You're not going to be zero. Zero. Zero, <laughs> just zero. Zero. Uh, I'm Jack. I'm Bob. This feels so formal. This is, this is weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm Lyndon. That's good. All right, this is we the, all know each other. This is the pilot. Yeah. It's, a pilot. Well, like... it's a pilot test. We may never even release this. Um, yeah, why are we saying, saying the names then? What? Why are we saying the names then? Good et- 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 etiquette. 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 Well, we're going to be famous, so yeah. no We're going to be famous. <laughs> <so> everyone <laughs> everyone <laughs> anyway. I don't know why everyone's, everyone's Googling yeah. us right now. They know where you live. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using this for I'm a movie, movie. so... I don't know how well. <laughs> this, yeah, I mean, the, the I'm not actually using it for a podcast. <laughs> okay, so I want us to talk about a unsolved murder which happened in Buxton in mm. 1982. 80s. Yes, right, 80s. <laughs> um, Go on. It was by the you know the banger track. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's called the high. Is that what it's called? The high edge raceway. Yeah. So what is it called? I there's two, there's Buxton two raceways. Buxton Raceway. I'm pretty sure that... What no, the, Speedway. Speedway and Raceway. What's the, the Speedway is the bag of track. Speedway is when the... speed. No, the Speedway is the, <laughs> um, the bikes, the little flat Racism. thing on the back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And then you drift you. sideways. Right. And then the bag of tracks, the other one. Raceway. Raceway. Is that high edge? Raceway. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah. Okay, so... The area. <laughs> Um, this was a Axe Edge, is that what it's called? Or the Axe Edge. Yeah, I feel like that's what it's called. Up, what, what is it about this murder then? What? So, it get to the details. It was, it was unsolved, that's why it's like. Okay. So, um, she was 20 years she, old. Woman. Yeah, she, it was a woman. Old man. Um, her, she, she's not old. <laughs> she's not aged. <laughs> her body was found naked, save only a bra. And the rest of her clothing was found 200 yards from the body. Well, it's kind of pretty obvious what's kind of gone on there. Yeah, so... Well, unless someone, unless just, someone's decided then, just to randomly get naked. It was just on the edge. edge, so her body was just, like, dumped off the side of the road. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, neat. she died of neck injuries. Well, so obviously she's even been hmm. strangled then. Yeah. yeah, what kind of neck injuries are you talking about? No, we'll get we'll get deeper into like the specifics of it. So, because <laughs> <Hey, let's... laughs> there's aliens like, up there. I found a book. Um, there's a book of like what? unsolved murders in the UK, and yeah, there's like a few pages where it goes <laughs> over like the details of like the investigation. So, um, it's really annoying. Like, you, just, you just you just think there'd be a murder at the end, but like it'd be solved, but it's mm. just unsolved. You just read the reading. Yeah, it's, like, a very, it's a very self. It feels like a very self-explanatory murder, there. So what's going through my head is they're like the, is the, the that, details get weird though. So because, um, uh, can I explain what I think is going on in my head first? Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's happened already. Okay, just give, from give us your initial theory. Initial theory. Yeah, initial thoughts. Well, she, um, she's just been picked up by someone. Right. But and either no, no, <laughs> nothing to do with it. Yeah. No relation or anything like that. Just someone. She got a taxi home. She ended up getting. Unfortunately. Her done in and then thrown the pot, thrown by the body, thrown by the roadside. Mm-hmm. Well, in that, a that's kind what? of secluded place because that old there is no one hardly tracks up there. Well, you think that's what what's done the neck in? Or do you no, she well obviously the person she's been killed. She's been raped. Yeah. Oh word! I don't, I don't <laughs> want to say it. <laughs> hard on. Hard on. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't make that. <laughs> <laughs> So, Where were you in 1982? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, it seems pretty like straightforward on the surface, but a killer was never traced. Okay. And like the case remains open. Well, they closed the case. They, How can you close a case though? So they um, didn't get any leads, like nothing that they... Wash my hands done. <laughs> <laughs> nothing that they followed, like went anywhere. So then they closed the case. I'm not sure what year, but then the case was reopened in 2004. For like, like a cold case. Yeah. yeah. But there are no um, investigators actively like investigating it, pursuing it. It's no, just, it's just as it is. Yeah, well, it's well, open. But so where where the lead? Where the investigators yeah, lead <laughs> right now? <laughs> so, <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like one of them Sherlock Holmes games. You get like a little board game, out. 
<laughs> it's Puxen, so it's probably more like Cluedo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's, uh, there's a select number of people with a certain amount of weapons. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird. It was like it's such a small town, so you'd think there would be somebody would have seen her beforehand, but there's no evidence. Anything no, like that. Well, well, she, she was not like, she, uh, No, was she a local girl? Mm, no, she was from a she was from a town nearby. I'm not sure what town. Um, but she moved. All right, this is where it gets interesting. So she moved a few years before the murder. To live with her boyfriend, who's from Buxton. He lives in Buxton. He was a policeman. Okay. He lived in Sketchy. Buxton. Where's the boy? Where's the boyfriend? He right. So after, because he was like the main um, suspect when yeah. she was found murdered. Isn't it something like ninety percent of like all murders? It's always the husband, the yeah. They always. It's, like, it's, always, it's like, always someone connected. Yeah. It's never a random attack. No, yeah. a random attack is motivated by something, but it could have been motivated just by. The rape the path or, yeah. But then why, why why would he why would he rape his own white girlfriend? No. Yeah. No so yeah. <laughs> the police investigated him, but they found that well his alibi like checked out. Okay. Well, so, you saw at work yeah. Or, yeah. They stopped investigating him, but afterwards he quit. He. I guess, I guess that kind of makes sense. Bloody. He dropped out of the police force. And then moved he's, out. He's literally begun to shit that's like yeah. the same like the next yeah. day. Mm, no. He moved out of Derbyshire. I reckon because it's such a small town, and everyone probably thinks he probably did it. Yeah, they would have been oh, talking he's about getting, it. He would have actually got yeah, shot yeah, out of yeah, town. Yeah. yeah, even though the police found it, but there's no information about it in the police report. It just says that his alibi checked out, but he didn't tell us what, what the was, alibi right, was. You mm. can't find his name anywhere. You can't like. Well, I guess he's allowed that privacy. Yeah, because if he's just been investigated and he has a clear record, and like they can't find anything on him, they they can't put his name out onto anything, can they? Do you think mm. because he was like under so much heat from like the public, he like wins like witness protection? Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon because like people are just struck. giving him shit, and it's just like not actually him. Yeah, I reckon but then he it's struck like all his personal details off like public records. Really? Yeah. <laughs> So he's like they've fully like tried to wipe him. He's just yeah, gone. I reckon so because like when you look into it, it just says the boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. And it just says his alibi checks out, and there's nothing, and it, it tells you that he quit. He that's left weird. the force and left the county. Okay. But that that's weird in, in a way. Mm. It's like he's with the police department. Yeah. You don't think like do you think he's could he it? not continue being a policeman and then? Uh, uh, I I reckon. From that, from from just that, I, yeah. I reckon he, he just couldn't take it anymore because his his girlfriend it was his girlfriend wasn't mm-hmm. his wife was it girlfriend just died just got murdered and ta- and he has to deal with all the people in that town or in in that place yeah and Ooh. all the people going like oh you why why are you the police officer <laughs> yeah, you're every day fucking, well. you, you, you killed you, you killed your girlfriend <laughs> what are you doing here with that. Mm. Uh, yeah, I would have pissed off and moved somewhere else. Unless he had family here, he, but it looks like he did because he was from Buxton. What's like? What's like the the weird details about it? Is it? Is so it get... yeah, it's just into the investigation of it. I found in this book. I'm not sure who wrote it or where they got their information from because the information in this book is like nowhere else. Mm. But like you can see, there's like, yeah, there's a couple like of pages. A few, like, which is actually a weed leaf. Yeah, four <laughs> pages. Um, the author heavily impri- implies that like the the police investigation was like lacking, right. a bit, a bit the, corrupt on the old side. Yeah, sort so of the, he was books and spiders. Books and spiders. The detail yeah. that he brought up was the police made a public statement at the time of the investigation back in nineteen eighty two, um, saying that in a post mortem report there wasn't a great deal of force applied to her neck. It was enough to kill her, but it wasn't enough to like. It was be... like gentle, gentle. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> like it wasn't like softly, softly. So they reckon that it wasn't intentional. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. So they believe, and in the police statement, they said possibly during um, sex. So aggressive like foreplay. Oh what? They reckon that like. Oh, just reckon that. It's like that man who would Dutch, Dutch oven his wife to death. Dutch yeah. oven, what's that? Fart under, is it fart under the leaf curtain? Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Dutch oven? Yeah. That's he, that killed, he killed his wife. How'd what? You, 
Well, like, Wait. we need to eat a tart. <laughs> no, like... <laughs> we need to do this average one. <laughs> I want to know what... The Dutch oven. <laughs> no, yeah. no, you can't. You you, I, I'm positive. I think it is. You're saying that somebody died. Yeah, and he got charged for it. Manslaughter. Oh. You can... That is not a thing. I'm, I'm, I've heard it somewhere. I don't know who said it. It might be on another podcast, what but I'm pretty sure. What did they have? <laughs> he killed his... He killed his... He must have let him tell you. Bartered and then, like, wrapped the shit like, <laughs> around her head. Okay. Like, imagine going to jail for that. Was she Jewish? Was she Jewish? Anyway. <laughs> next question. Not right. next thing. <laughs> Back to this one. So the police publicly stated that they believed it was an accident. They had no evidence, though. The only evidence was... She had a s- soft neck. There on. wasn't... The injuries weren't extensive. And I'm guessing they probably did a post-mortem on her. Mm. She had any drugs or anything in there. Well, all the drugs like currents, but... Like, is that what it's called? Post mortem. Hmm? Coroner's report of a dead body. Uh, not yeah, quite sure. It, yeah, it'll be the coroner that does the post mortem. So yeah, and there was no other signs of like foul play. Which, so, um, if you go off what what the police stated, they reckon. Well, then it would like that would imply the boyfriend surely, if it was like accidental during sex. It was his fault, yeah, because unless she was, she was sleeping with another man. Yeah. yeah. So, or did, someone, or. did someone just try, try and do like a little playful choking? <laughs> a, a little playful choking. People are into that. During, yeah, and then Slapping people. accidentally Slapping people. killed her and then dumped That's her awful. dumped her body and then her clothes. What, were the clothes, were the clothes found with her? Or did she mm, wear? So the... Um, the body was found early morning, um, just off Leak Road, by a motorcyclist. Oh God! Yeah. Oh, shit, dude, that dude. He was bullying. So. Yeah, yeah first, per, first person he's seen. Oh, 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 ever smelt it, it, dealt it. Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Is that just gonna be a thing? Not a thing. Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Case closed. It's like Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Oven door closed. Night door closed. So yeah, I don't. I wonder if she died. Choking. Yeah. So it's just it's like open. Asphyxiation, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's yeah. asphyxiation. I don't know. It just has neck injuries. Odd. Yeah, it doesn't say that she was suffocated. Could have been a severe anything. case of whiplash on the, the raceway. The postmortem. That's why I think the the author of this book like puts fault on the police because it just seems like. For such an important investigation, there doesn't seem to be much effort put into actually yeah. like, the specific details of what happened, which is probably what led to them not actually tracing any kind of killer or like putting it on anyone. Do you think that's because because of a place like books and like it, <clears throat> murders are rare? So when one happens, everyone's like, "Ah oh, shit, what, yeah. what, what are we doing here?" Yeah, and then it's like, "Ah, oh, we could probably just like brush it to the side and just like." Mm carry on like nothing's happening yeah and then well, they don't want to scare oh it's the a sex well. attack um, not a sex attack a sex accident <laughs> sex accident doesn't end up on the fucking breaks away <laughs> it's on the newspaper sex accident it's on the <laughs> it's accident but that's what they that's what they did publicly that it was an accident during sex as if they put that did they actually put that on there um it's on here I can't an accident mean. during sex because they couldn't well, think because the only that it was like during sexual contact I don't know what kind of word to put Yeah, but that means okay, that means she must have been cheating on it cheating on a myth. Cheating on Do we, do we even know this, this person's name? Yeah. This woman's name. She yeah, was Ale- 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 Elaine Wakefield. Did I not say? Yeah. I you probably said I don't forget. Right. Elaine Wakefield. Elaine Wakefield. Mm. Um Never heard of her. Obviously not. Yeah, so it was initially put to the public as news of a fatal sex crime. Oh, so no, that's sex crime, so she's Yeah, been so that was the initial one, and then the police put out a public statement that they believed it was an accident. <sighs> that's so fucking... Yeah, half But I guess that you can only, like, do that after, like, you examine the body. So, like... Sex accident? I suppose there's a, there's a, lot, of, there's a lot of other factors to deal with. I've watched... <laughs> I've watched CSI. Oh, no. I guess I've watched... Uh, no, Dutch don't they, like, check underneath... It might be a complete lie, but don't they check underneath like people's fingernails and stuff like that for like 
if they've attacked then, back. We're, we're thinking about like 1982 with like DNA and like. The, the, yeah, it's like if, like if, if they were looking CT, CT, CTV cameras, there will be none. Oh do, no, but the police isn't, do... isn't on that road anyway. Huh? Probably isn't on that road anyway. No. Leak Road. No, well, there's, there's literally nothing. There still like, isn't. No. There, there's probably a camera up at the banger track. Yeah. One camera, and they'll probably look at the That's the film of fucking cars turning left. I've got to say that thing. Yeah. And it wouldn't have been that in 1982. No, it wouldn't have even been that, yeah. Um, this book goes into a bit more detail. When was the book published? Um, the book was published in 1982. Wait a minute. That's a lie. lie. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> not sure when the book was published. Um, I so bottle you, you get migraine because it's fucking tiny. She was from originally from Tunstead Milton. Um, she was a petrol pump attendant. Um, what say there? Kinky. Going yeah, to she, <laughs> if she, she said she worked in a, a porn industry. Yeah, that makes. Ooh, sense. Ooh, okay. I would it. What? All right, this is interesting. So her body was found on Saturday the 27th. Saturday, so um, She was last seen Thursday 25th, and all evidence pointed towards that she was killed Thursday, was it, that afternoon of that day, on Thursday, but her body was found on Saturday. Oh, so someone just kept it for two days. Do you reckon that someone... Someone could panic- be panicking in. Pa- panicking. 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 They were just fucking making panicking, so they, uh, was, yeah. they couldn't have been panicking. They need to get rid of the body. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you've, if you've killed someone in a, se- in a sexual manner. Yeah. Especially yeah. on Panky Day. Especially on Panky Day. Especially on Panky Day. No batter on it, didn't no, you? I think, uh, honestly, I would just call an ambulance. If, I, if it happened to me. What if you killed someone? If I killed someone during... What's an ambulance going to do? What? What's an ambulance going to do? I don't know. I'll be like, yo, I've, yo, I've, yo, I've done this shit. Yeah. I, 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 I did it by accident. Yeah, you call the ambulance and then... They'll call the police. Do you reckon? Yeah. Because they've got a dead body on them. Mm. Yeah. They'll find out he's dead, they'll take him to the hospital, and then it'll be it'll be this, the hospital's process of getting rid of the body after that. It's pretty much dark. Yeah. It's and then dark. and then the police will come and then the police will do their like initial investigation. investigation. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. No, that d- How would you hide a body? <laughs> How would I hide a body? Wait, we this on. We'll, we'll do that. 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 Just asking for you. Yeah. Well, I've, I've hit multiple bodies already. Okay. So there is a bit more detail in there. Chops up. about the post mortem. It revealed that she had died quickly after a relatively minor compression of a nerve in her neck. I don't know what it means. Could she have um, fallen over? Injury was consistent. And all of the clothes now. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Association where. Someone could be an an could have been a necrophiliac. Neck neck during sex, someone could have just gone for them. The intake of oxygen in order to heighten sexual pleasure. That was in the re- in the public. That's so statement. weird. That's so weird how they can just jump to that conclusion. That's that fiction. was in the statement that the police well, no, put pe- out to the public. So you think <laughs> if they're putting get- out a statement to the public that they'd be, they know, like you'd be pretty sure about it. But there's no evidence to prove. They they kind of like. Oh, um, uh, yeah, that's that's fits most of our bills. We'll go for that because we can't just say. Yeah, so it's, 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 yeah. It's like they've said it quietly and then just shoved it underneath the rug and you're like, oh yeah, it was an accident. Yeah, accident. And, and we don't need to find who's done it. Or they're covering up for officer, so that's officer sort of, moves. Sort of boy, it's right? just interesting that he was in that police force that was doing the investigation. Do you reckon he just, <clears throat> he just hit a bit of evidence as he was going along? Yeah, a like, bit, bit to play in it. He he could he could what so so what he could have done, he could be have have him play time with his girlfriend, mm-hmm. and they've play, play time. How old are you? <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> know. I, I, I just can't say the word sex or some shit like that. What's that? <laughs> no, it's no. Anyway, he, yeah. <laughs> anyway, after that, he he rang up his mates the old Bill and said. I've done, I've done this, I need... He would, no, as, as soon as, like, he says he's killed someone to anyone, he's, like, fucked. He's, he's keeping that to himself. Yeah, you are. Like, soon What happens if he has really, the... really good contacts in the in the army, in the um, police? What, to the point where you ring up and say, I've just killed someone, can you help me? 
Um, it depends how close you are. I, 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 I would have just said... He was working there. I would have just said... The, yeah. I would have just said... Oh, fucking horrible. That's the thing, like, just a lot of people online... And I don't know what to do. Point towards this guy. Point towards the boyfriend. Mm. Okay. Because, of, then, like... I feel like that's because he's the only person in it. He's the only person, just, person He's the only person people can pin blame on. The last person yeah. to have seen him was him. Was Which was Thursday. on on Thursday. What were they doing on Thursday? Did he say anything like that? Yeah. Uh. A bit of playtime, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they play time, yeah. Strapped in. Dutch oven. <laughs> so, Dutch oven hmm. She died that afternoon, but then... You see, if it was an accident, you would get rid of the body right away, surely. <laughs> I don't know, though. <laughs> well, hey, what would I, you do? <laughs> well, just try and put your, like... Try and put yourself in, like... A murderer's shoes. her shoes, but you wear yeah. So, if it, so what if I if I I still I still don't think it would. Okay, if if it was the boyfriend, I don't think it would be on purpose. No. Yeah, well, and it was a horrible depends. accident. Depends. Depends. Because she she could have provoked him. Something could have happened. Could have so, been. So yeah, I don't yeah, I don't either. know the people. Because mm. they could have they could have been really happy on the outside, and they're getting behind closed doors. They're fucking beating each other left and right. Yeah. Shouting at each other. Intense playroom. Intense playroom. <laughs> Intense playroom. Uh, Intense. <laughs> what, no. is, there, is there anything else about it? Um, oh. It just keeps going on about a uh, victim of a sex game that went wrong. Like sex all these, game? Like some sex cult in Yeah. Boston. Result of no, horse play. <laughs> I won't put it past any of the books. No. Um, where the sex cult. Where taken completely yeah. by surprise and in panic. <laughs> They've actually engaged in some sexual activity with her killer, either of her own free will or of her own free will, or as a result of force. And at some point, she lost her life, and the killer left and failed to come forward. Failed to come forward. <laughs> yeah. That feel, that that, that line there failed to he come could, he forward. Could, yeah. He missed his day, his opportunity. Fucking murdered. Boyfriend. Yeah. I'd... I'm going with boyfriend. Well, I think we should have a conclusion when we when we There's nothing through. else to go off. It could like it's fifty fifty. Like honestly, it could just be she she got in she was planning to go out or something with her friends or surprise like do a surprise or something like that. Yeah, but she died on the Thursday. That's weird. She got in a taxi to go somewhere or something like that. A taxi driver or something like that could have picked her up. What do you think the taxi driver? Taxi driver could have raped her and then Ooh. What? Sorry, I was reading I wasn't sorry. Really Pinned her. Mm. No, because she would have at least tapped back, wouldn't it? It has to be someone she knows. Um, Shit. Yeah, you think so? Because there's just there's no sign of anything. And she no, just unle- is, unle- she is okay. the of her neck. But then it could have been just like someone has just got up to her and done that. Or she was away. cheating. <laughs> you think there's a bit of foul play involved? She was cheating. Okay. And then she got she got him she got um. In, in bed with another man and then they did, uh, did sexual what? sexual intercourse what, what? sexual intercourse Brilliant. Bit of strangle play <laughs> strangle play strangle play and they got um, <laughs> why is everything a play I don't know <laughs> and they got um, it didn't sound very fun the character <laughs> and they and they died it's hippie and she, work hammer she, she died because okay. and then he was trying to dispose of the body and he didn't know what just dumped it. Yeah, and dumped it. It could, it, yeah, it could nothing. It could be nothing to do with the police officer. The police officer could be completely cheated on. It could be a separate man which she's gone to, mm. so like just on the on the on the end of Thursday. Mm. Yeah. And then been. End of Thursday. Why not? Strangle Thursday. Strangle Thursday. Would quite work. I have a bit more context. Okay. okay. So, why did my horizon bob? Um, through a search. A thorough search of the area, a detective soon found out that all Second World War unexploded bombs were found in the area that where the, her body was found. Oh no, that's fine. Um, There's loads of Detectives soon <laughs> confirmed that soldiers had been working in the area. Yeah. In the week before Elaine's murder, carrying out bomb disposal bomb disposal work. No, they did. They do that every other month still. So. None of the n- no, they're just old. They're all wet. They'll, they, they, uh, yeah, they, they won't work. It's just yeah, they'll 
just but in the case. But soldiers claim to have no knowledge of the incident. No, it's just a. Is that just a? They're, they're, random they're random. on. The, <laughs> it's just like something that happened there. Yeah, it's uh, like it's like people come and fi- fix the potholes and didn't notice anything. The what? Fix potholes and didn't notice anything. Oh, okay. it's weird. Like, it puts it puts more people there. It just I just don't get how. Do you think a body could have been there since Thursday? It, yeah, it's that's it's, what I mean. it's like, probably quite easy to hide. Why did like, this, a body on that road? Why did this motorcycle see it? And surely yeah. if the motorcyclist saw it, then Stopped. people would have noticed it sooner. He could have just stopped for a fucking drink. I just feel like it would have been seen it. Yeah. It would have been seen sooner. Yeah. You go Thursday. No, wh- afternoon, wait. When did these? When Friday, did these bomb, bomb disposal come? The week before. Oh, the week before. Yeah. They, 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 the week, they weren't even involved. No. The week during, like the week of Thursday when she died, they were there, but it was before. Yeah, so yeah, mm. the body wasn't dropped then. It just seems Thursday afternoon, Friday, and then it was only discovered on Saturday. Yeah, it's not like a whole that. day. I'm like, I reckon it, it, it must it. have been dropped off at night. Some days gone wrong. Because uh, any yeah. sane person would drop something they don't want being seen off at night. <laughs> any sane person who's got a dead body yeah. <laughs> in the back well, of the no. car. No, you know, because you're trying to hide. You're trying to hide stuff. Okay. So, yeah, you would you would do it at night, the Windsor. cover of darkness. Good name for a band. What was it? The cover of darkness. It probably is one. <laughs> probably. They do covers. <laughs> no, yeah, but. Mm. Hmm. It's a, it's, a, it's it's a weird one. This one. Is there any more facts? Because if not, I'm just, we'll... I'm just having a look now. But it doesn't. That's that's pretty much it. Those that's are all the facts. And right. it's just, yeah, unsolved. Wow. Still open. No closure. Nobody knows. For other murders happened? around books and unsolved. Are there, um, are there even any murders um, around books and are unsolved? The ones that are are just like way too old. You're going like back to like 18th century. Oh, okay. And there's just like oh. there's just nothing online. Yeah. That you can like look into. That's pretty much the only one. There is more in like the large area, like Derbyshire. Yeah. But there's a lot. What do you think then? Like, what's your. Yeah, start from you then. Well, I think your there's only really one thing to go off. Mm. The only person who's like. The last person that saw her is the boyfriend. Mm. The only person that's like involved in her life, it seems, is the boyfriend. So it'd be kind of weird if it wasn't the boyfriend. So yeah. I'll just, I'll just go for that. Oh, so it's the only theory. So how'd it go down? Accident? Or how'd, how'd it go down? Yeah. Um, the neck thing makes you think that it was a bit, it was a bit sexual, mm-hmm. and then it. But then I don't know. It's weird. I reckon the boyfriend then dropped her off there, mm. and then he just wanted to get out of like the town, so he had to leave his job after, and then leave the the county. And that was the yeah. quickest way of doing it without looking weird. You know what I mean? Like if he just yeah. like, if he just like went yeah. off, that would be like he did it. But like leaving your job and then leaving the county is like a bit more like structured and a bit more normal. Like straight. Yeah. yeah. But then it's a bit weird how she was she died on the Thursday and then she was found on the Saturday. I feel mm. like what well, I feel like he wouldn't just keep her in the house. No. For two days. Especially or... especially police officer. Yeah. He'd know how the investigation would go. Yeah. Mm. You wanna you wanna do it straight. He'd be more clued up with it. Yeah. That's what that's why I'm just like, since there was no evidence, like nothing found, the most qualified person to be the murderer to have pulled it off like that would have been him because he would have known how it would have been how investigated how it all will be also he probably he would have definitely had friends in the force whether they would have been that trustworthy yeah i don't, I don't think they would have taken it all the way i think if, if you've killed someone you're on your own yeah like unless it's like what like family or like but unless it wasn't like unless it wasn't like direct unless it was just like they overlooked a few details to just Joking. say like that his it alibi yeah. checked, checked out, out. Even though I wish we could see his alibi. Yeah. Because <laughs> then, like, there might have been like just glaring like red flags. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, just like that doesn't add up. But it's it's, it's not that. It's not public information. No. <clears throat> I don't know whether somebody mentioned that you can see old like police reports in libraries sometimes. Yeah, I don't know whether books and library will have because then they store like once their files get pulled, the police department they like store them in the library. The library for the store. Mm-hmm. 
It's something to look into, definitely. Yeah. Mm. So, Hibby, how would you had a body? How would I had a body? <laughs> mm. Well, Hibby, what do you think happened? What do I think happened? Oh, it's so many, like, different sorts of... Like, I reckon it's either... It's a 50% chance that it's the boy... Uh, no, it's a bit more. 75% chance that it's the boyfriend. But then the over 25%. Could be another another dude she was going with, <clears throat> or okay. it was a stranger yeah. with the, the alibi just to mm. have a sexual fantasy with her. Do you lean more towards like? But actually, no, because there was no marks or anything like a struggle. No, because so they would have yeah. found that even more in the report. There was no other marks on the bodies. There was no uh, traces of drugs. Yeah, that's why it would either be another man or predominantly a boyfriend who's probably done it, and. I reckon he's just panicked, and I reckon he, I reckon he called someone saying, like she's not breathing or something like that. I don't know what's wrong with her, and they've gone like, calm down, and I'll sort this out. We don't let's get out or anything like that. Sounds like a Netflix series, a mm. eight part series. Yeah, then it kicks, then it kicks, and then they, uh, yeah, they go to, they plan this out to drop the body off, and then he only needs one friend in the force. Like, to be like, yeah, really? just drop it off then. Just drop it, drop it off here. Just drop it off here then. <laughs> like an Amazon package. And then we'll take it from there. Yeah. Your alibi will be this. <laughs> yeah, it could have just been one one person. Yeah. And then like to vouch. And it was him. like, yeah, you were here with me. Don't That's worry. all it takes, isn't it? One person. Yeah, alive. because you can still, because because he because he would still got us charged for manslaughter even though it was an accident. Yeah. He would have. That's yeah. why. That's why they've done yeah. this. Like an old fart sheet. In, yeah. In he didn't mean it, <laughs> but he was just like, "I need to." You don't want to go go to prison for more murdering your own, accidentally killing your own no, girlfriend. No, you don't. So I reckon it, it's a kind of a cover up mm. from just one member of the police force, just one. I pretty much agree with what you said. To be honest, but you're you're up for the theory of a cover up. I'm up for like, yeah. I think I just like there's the, two less, like the <laughs> <of it laughs> and there's two, think there's two less, less <laughs> details. More in it. Yeah, oh, there's well. two lesser details in it. Mm. Yeah, the only details. There's so much speculation you go on so much other things. The only details you get are like the boyfriend, and then that just seems to have been like yeah dissolved, mm. pushed aside. So yeah, um, there are forums online where people have spoken about it mm-hmm. and like offered some. <laughs> I want to say like fan fictions, but that just seems a I bit like weird. Like, it was like actual <laughs> murder, <laughs> but well, some murder, uh, unsolved death. <laughs> um, one of them was a bit. I thought it was a bit outlandish, but they said that. Um, she was feel right so this is just like this is way these like are these theories these are these just theories, theories and i i don't think people are like taking it seriously oh, i don't people are just like seeing this and seeing that there isn't much detail behind it and like putting their own context do you want to try to rate them out of 10 of like likeliness yeah, yeah go for it. It. all right I'm, I'm throwing i'm just going like straight into the deep end go for it so she was suicidal um she told her boyfriend that she was suicidal and they they had agreed with him to like um to kill her like she wanted to commit suicide um so he agreed to like do it and then do it as a cover-up because she didn't want her family to know that she was suicidal so she wanted it to be like she wanted to get murdered so then he did it and then he (laughs) he set it up but then he was like angry or something or sp- like spiteful at the family so he just like kept it quiet and then they just left it because he wanted to spite them he wanted them to have no closure uh, <laughs> <laughs> right Hibby what are you thinking it's well, what's, it's not the realm of poss- the possibility it's mm. still they it could it could it could have happened. Yeah, they lean towards the fact that um, there are evidence to say that the, her clothes were taken off after oh, okay. she died, and then the, the the way that they were dumped was quite suspicious. Right. Okay. 
Ja, alltså, alltså, så, alltså ja. ni, ni fanns ju. Mm. What were we saying? <sighs> Out of 10, likeliness. Uh, what for that one? Yeah. Three. It was three. Out of 10? Yeah. Three. Yeah, I was going to say three. I'm going to go for two. Yeah, it's just... I, I, just, it's not, I just don't see that being yeah, a it's, thing. I, I, like, I, who, I, well, who kills back, at, back in the 80s, it wasn't... wasn't that much thing about depression and everything like that, was there? wasn't that much help for it and stuff. I just, I just think... It's, now. You, I just think it's weird that you'd ask your boyfriend to then kill you. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think a boyfriend would go through no, it. No, I don't exactly. think the boyfriend would go through it as well. He'd yeah. try and... Persuade her off of him. Then turn around and be a dick to the wife. <laughs> the yeah. wife to the family. Oh, it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how spiteful do you have to be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to oh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I would try and say it from a three to a two. <laughs> yeah. Three to a two, yeah. Solid two. I'm leaving it at three because, like, I think it'd be a cool movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're saying, right? Um, <laughs> it's just the funeral. It's just got his middle fingers up in the background. <laughs> <It's eight. laughs> And then he just left. He just quit and left. On Wakefield. Um, the next one was um, the boyfriend wanted a dead. Classic. Right. Um, and then used the police. And, like the police were in on it. So they all staged like this whole like cover up. Okay. Mm. Well, I feel like that's a bit like. Hollywood a lot of a yeah. lot of police officers have to be involved in that. Mm. And I don't think that many are crooked. No, a lot of people point fingers at the police though because of like their investigation. I think it's just like the lack of evidence and like. I reckon they just. Well, just like, like, I reckon yeah. it's just how shit our police force is. Yeah, it's Buxton, um, oh, 1982. Well. I don't think they have dealt with anything like that crazy. I think, I think they just like kicked her off the side of the road and was just like, oh, yeah, just let traffic through again. I don't think it was much of like big tents and like forensics. And no. It was, no, it was, it like, was like, it just I bet they expected like it to be pretty straightforward to find out yeah. who did it and then it wasn't. Yeah. And it turned into this crazy media fire. I, I reckon they'll, they'll be trying to pin it on the boyfriend and they tried to pin it on our boyfriend but he got a perfect alibi or something like that and he went, Ugh. Yeah, that's the only like it seems to be the only cause of like investigation. Like yeah. surely you go you'd interview people that knew her, you'd go and find out did anybody have anything against her? Did anybody seem to I'd be looking at like men that knew her. Did anyone although like I I can't see it being rape because there was no signs of struggle. No. No. Unless she was like drugged. No, nothing drugs. was in the body. How'd you know? It's said to me. Yeah, it was, was in it. Was yeah, in it. Oh, okay. No signs of. Should be nothing in there. There was no other signs of foul play apart from the injuries in the neck. A mystery, eh? Dude, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, mystery. but it was sexual in act, but it wasn't a rape. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm with I'm with that. Yeah, I'm with so that. So I'm I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy to say I'm happy to say that I'm happy to say it's not rape. I'm with I think like it happened during. Happened during. I don't, I don't think it did, because then like you've got the thing about the clothes and like after. Hmm. It's, do you reckon, un, it's unproven. Do you she, it ha- like they did something during she got injured during that she died after. It, it could it be. Might not have been sex. Yeah. Oh yeah, it might not have been sex. Or like, yeah, like yeah. It could, she could have just fucking fell like, over. And... Honestly, I think there was such a media like firestorm, like such a backlash from the police like afterwards that they just panicked and threw out that story. Just so they like gave him something, even though, and they, they even said there's no evidence to prove it. They just think that. Yeah. It's just their thought. So, like, anything I say could be equal as, like, Bible's what they said. Mm. Yeah, I could see it being anything else. But, like, there's nothing to go off. There's not much. That's why it's, that's why it's unsolved. <laughs> <laughs> what, what conclusion we've arrived at? <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> no, that's, that's all well, nice. No, it's, it's... That's all she wrote. Yeah. There's so many like truthful facts mixed with all the the m- not made up ones, but the not the fact ones. The the people's opinion, fingers yeah. ones. They're just yeah, they're just opinions. They're just like oh, he's so he's so like could bins. And there's nothing. There's no there's no, no hard evidence. solid evidence. That's just media about certain things, that's but that's, what they struggle with. There was another thing that the book mentioned that um, if. It happened two decades later. 
um, they would have been able to get DNA off her clothes. Yeah. Wait, are the are the clothes were the clothes not preserved? Um, I'm not sure. They did. They probably they said it, like. I bet they got rid of it. <laughs> yeah, but it just seems like these police were just incompetent that they just didn't even think about that. No. That like maybe it could get. Like they just they just it. picked it up and just went in the back of the car. Yeah. And then put it in the back. It was reopened in 2004. And what did they find? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> It was reopened and then like it just got really boring at it's, work one day yeah. and they were just like ah oh, fucking this murder of 1982 and someone looks at it for like half a day and we're just like yeah maybe somebody like thought like oh maybe I could <laughs> maybe maybe it, maybe it is a thing in the police or I think it's just so either well well hidden up or well not well done like well yeah well hidden up <laughs> anyway yeah that when the upper officer looked at it and he couldn't Pin down any solid evidence on anybody. No. Like no. the the boyfriend stuck to his alibi, and he's always stuck to his alibi. Where is he now? Though? Where is he now? Sam Wilson. He left. He, he's the right. person who reopened it. <laughs> yeah, he joined the force and John again. Wick. See, that's not out of the po- the, the possibility. Well, he, he went full John he, Wick. He reopened. <laughs> he reopened the case. He 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 went into witness protection. He's got a new name or something like Join the force. So join the force somewhere else and then the game a detective reopened the fucking case. And it's ready. yeah, everything's fine here. <laughs> I'd watch that. He's typing. I'm typing. typing. I'm, just, I'm just having a look if there's any like... Other yeah. Well, no, yeah, if I he... think we all kind of just got to the conclusion it's the boyfriend but there's just no evidence 